الأخبار Well, what can I say? Absolute disaster. Some people know me for doing a wee bit of this. A wee bit of that. And a wee bit of this. Travelling the length and breadth of the country, capturing the history, the mystery and the beauty of Ireland. But on Sunday the 1st of May 2022, things took a turn for the worse, ending up in the hands of the NHS's finest. So began a full evaluation of life and how to turn my dream into a reality. This is my journey, how I got from here to here. Welcome to Donegal! So welcome back to the channel. So I now have the max fan fitted and every other hole in the roof has been drilled and sealed and believe it or not there are still no leaks. So it is now time to get back to this roof and all the saga that came with it. So starting off with putting another bit of insulation around the max fan and for this I used a bit of leftover tax to insulate in and around the wooden frame. I cut it to size and with the heavy duty foil tape I simply went around it so it was well stuck together and fitted perfectly around the wooden frame. I then ran my final 240 volt cable. This will run from the electric hookup point which I fitted in an earlier video. This is for when parking up on a campsite to charge my electrics. It is just another way of getting power if I ever need to use it. And now that all the things that need to be behind the roof are fitted, I did have a lot of this Reflectix, bubble wrap, or whatever you want to call it. I did have a lot of this left over. So I thought I'd use it up, especially with having drilled so many holes through it while fixing the tongue groove to the roof buttons. So I just thought I would replace the whole lot, as it wouldn't take very long. And as I have said before, I did want to do it right. <laughs> So that is the complete layer of the roof for the vapor barrier. Right around the edges of that max fan, everything is done. That took a lot longer than what I expected. So that is it for the day. The roof is ready to go up. What a difference a week makes in the terms of weather. There's actually like a condensation and everything all around these windows. That's the first time I've really seen it. Windscreen's all frozen over. Winter is here. It is Baltic. I'm not going to spend much time today bollocksing about. I'm just going to pick this right up where I left off from last Sunday.
apologies in advance this is going to be a pure rant so when you go on youtube and you watch all these videos of all these guys converting all these vans and they tell you how to do this and how to do that one thing they don't tell you is this when they're fitting their pucklets they're attaching the whole saw to the drill whether it be 57 58 60 or 61 millimeter whatever hole it is they're drilling i find the closest i find to a the 58 millimeter, which is the size of the hole that my puck lights require, was a 57. There is no 58s, definitely no 58s. I have searched all over the internet, you cannot buy a 58 millimeter hole saw bit or attachment, or whatever you want to call it. So you drill the hole, you grab a file, and you file out one millimeter, and the puck lights just insert straight in. No, they don't. Oh, no, they don't. At the side of the puck lights you'll get two wee plastic squares and they'll have the copper bit, the clip that inserts into the hole which holds it all in place. That is going to cause you a problem if you haven't got an exact 58mm hole. So you're going to be failing all around, then the circle hole then becomes oval and next thing you know you fail too much over the edges trying to get the thing in and when you put the puck lights on the roof you can see the circle is actually slightly bigger so you'll see it there's no hiding it but you're going to see it this is what i mean so this is the hole that i drilled previously it requires a 58 millimeter hole the closest i got to that was a 57 millimeter hole so which means i had a fed around the edges and then the circle then becomes oval or whatever it's not a circle anymore and when you put the light in the shroud of the light You'll be able to see around the edges where you fed, trying to get the light in to sit in place. So after phoning the people up who have bought the lights off, they then said to me, there is a gadget called an adjustable circle wood cutter. I went on Amazon and lo and behold, there's the, what this enables you to do is to drill an exact 58 millimeter hole in the cladding which means the puck light will fit directly straight into it you'll not be able to see around the edges where you can, you'll be able to see there no failing no sanding down no whatever and um, we're going to give this a go and we're going to see if we can drill an exact 58 millimeter hole which will enable a better finish and you'll not be able to see anything and you'll not be able to see any of the holes will have been cut because the shroud of the light will cover the whole lot that's the theory anyway. So that's the plan today.
that is it up I am well impressed with that well impressed the piece de resistance God is fit Looks alright to me. So the roof's up, it ain't coming back down, and it looks pretty, pretty decent. Today, it's all about these door cards. I'm going to try and cut the remainder of the dodo mat that I have lying around. There's only a few bits. There should be enough to cover the inside of that door. It is 6mm thick. And it'll just give a wee bit of extra protection to the metal. And it'll hopefully it'll also keep a wee bit of heat in. Because that is a moving part. That door is open and closing all the time. So I would say if you're going to get a draft or you're going to lose heat, this is where you're going to lose it from. So that's the task of the day. I have kept the old door cards. I'll just lay that out flat on top of a piece of 5mm plywood. And basically just cut around it, mark the holes where the screws were, and we'll stick that back up. As I say, there's not really too much you can do with a sliding door. <laughs> And that's going right up to there. That bit of insulation is going right up to there. That's how much of a void there is up in there. That is completely hollow. See, there's not really too much you can do with these doors because of the mechanicals. They're all on this side. Okay. Okay.
So that's that door insulated. Well, the best that I can do of it anyway. There's six millimeter of dodo mat on it and a little bit of insulation. So I'm now going to cut the size, a piece of the reflectix, tip it on around the edges and start cutting out the door cards. That is that door finally insulated. It has a layer of 100ml insulation. It also has a layer of the Reflectix bubble wrap. And finally, the door panel is now on. That door panel will come off at some stage. And when that time comes, that will eventually be carpeted. So that is it. So I'll call it a day. And we'll red up or something during the week. Back to work tomorrow. Where did the weekend go? That is it for 2022. Van conversion has ceased. It's been a long six months of setbacks and learning curves with a mixture of some blood, sweat and tears I am fucking dumb that shit out of the mix this is my effort so far the countdown is on to have this van fully converted for the 17th of March in Patrick's Day as yesterday was the shortest day of the year I think it's night time. Sit down, relax and indulge. Merry Christmas.